In this video, we will go over how to troubleshoot your charge controller. The items you'll need are a multimeter, your solar panel specification sheet, and a copy of your charge controller's manual. Before measuring voltage and amperage, gently tug into the wires of your charge controller to make sure that they aren't loose, as loose wires can lead to problems. Then, take a look at the LED lights on your controller unit, observe what colors they're displaying, and compare this to the one on your controller's manual. You may be able to determine if it is effective just by an incorrect light. If the lights are okay and the wires are nice and tight, we can begin the test. Test 1. PV Terminal Voltage Place the multimeter positive and negative wire to the positive and negative PV terminal on the controller. Compare this voltage reading with the solar panel's operating voltage, or VMP. The VMP should be a plus or minus 10% range of what it says on the specification sheet. If it is, then you pass a test. If it isn't, there might be a problem with your panels. Take out the solar panels and do a solar panel troubleshoot. If the VMP is reading negative, then you have reverse polarity of the wires. Test 2. Battery Terminal Voltage Place a multimeter positive and negative wire to the positive and negative battery terminal on the controller. Generally, you are looking for a voltage that represents the float or boost voltage. You can find this information on your controller specification sheet. Anything abnormal, such as your controller reading the same voltage as your battery bank, can be grounds for defectiveness, and we recommend calling a technician to verify this. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a bright and sunny day.